Live 9, after a long, long wait, is finally here. But was the wait worth it? You bet. Not only are there new features that really can, if you let them, change the way that you work on music irrevocably, but there are so many new additions of polish and fine-tuning that make the Ableton experience even that much more efficient and unique. Through this tutorial, we're going to be covering exclusively what makes this update to an already powerful DAW a must-buy. I have to say, I was hard-pressed to imagine if what was coming next to Ableton Live would or could in any way trump the amazing load of goodness that was already there. But they have indeed done it. Some of these new features are in fact complete game changers. So we're going to spend a nice bit of time on these features and how you can let them take your performance to the next level. Okay, why don't we start off with the cosmetically obvious first. How about we take a look at the new browser and start getting an idea of how an update to something that was already really handy has become that much better. 